one thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. That raid we just did in the basement of Dragonspear Castle was quite exhilarating and we were all happy about our performance. Though Donahair did fall, Glint has cast Gentle Repose on her, which is a spell to prevent the decaying of her body so that we may rest and restore life to her body in the morning. I hit the right hand of Kalar Argent and nearly killed him. Yes, Heferna, the evil mage, felt the sting of my arrows. The reinforcements were too much, especially with Donahair down, who could have really helped us deal with them otherwise. Also, how could we know that the reinforcements wouldn't be endless? I doubt a dozen more soldiers were all that they were willing to throw at us. I made the call to exit, and I think it was the correct one. We may be a very tough party, but we are not invincible. Heffernan, though, stung us back with his area effect spells he kept casting on us. I was hit by several, and they nearly killed me. So we were a person down and weakened. We had to leave. There was no other choice. So now we must see the druids and, um, the ogres before we go. Hopefully the ogres will agree to keep harassing the crusade once we leave. Okay, I think that we should rest as soon as we're able to and bring Donnie here back. I don't know about resting right out here, though. Resting by the old oak tree, probably best. Speak to the druids before. And maybe, just maybe, you guys should memorize Cure Disease. Cure Disease. There. Hello. Greetings, Zoran. The forest told me of your approach. I, w I wish I had a tree-based alarm system that'd be handy when I'm camping. We saw the corrupt luminescence fade from the tree's branches and knew you had succeeded. You have our gratitude. Uh, it, was, it wasn't an easy fight, but we triumph. Regardless of your motivations, your actions have benefited us and this forest. Please, take this as a symbol of our thanks. I'm glad I could help. You showed courage and character, Oren. I am proud of you. May your travels be swift. Gave me a club. That has to be identified. Yeah, what? we have a lot of things to identify. So, done here is preserved for the time being. Let's rest. I don't really need to sleep myself, but our priests do. And druid. Clear from druid. Welcome back, down here. Curing the disease. Okay, so we're going to reorganize, get down here, all her equipment back. To the ogres we go, now that that's been taken care of. Glad to have you back down here. Stay away from the Mykonid home. If we can. I don't know if these... I'm just hoping this, these ogres will continue the fight. Keep the crusaders on their toes while we're gone. Oh, 
Here's the Dark Elves. Interesting. You are welcome here. After reaching the surface, we sought some place to take shelter while we determined our next move. That's when we saw smoke from the ogre's fire. We asked to join them. Merz agreed. Uh, I'm glad you... Uh, I'm glad you to find you well, but li will life among ogres suit you? Certainly, we've seen many new things already, and the ogres say we can remain with them so long as we pull our weight. We really can't thank you enough. I am more... Uh, I am sure you have more important things to do than speak with us, so we will leave you to them. Farewell. Or... Okay, where's the leader? Was it this one? Slug? Slug chief again. Huh. Soon we go back to caves, do what we do best. Smash heads, take gold. <laughs> huh. That's, that's great, Slug. Maybe just try and limit the smashing to crusader heads, yes? You save me and I see Murs again. Murs say me give you prize as thanks. Belong to my family many years. Still don't know what it does. Something magic. Maybe you figure out. Uh, thank you, Slug. Farewell to you both. You have friend now, Elf. Vaprak watch over you like ogre. A good thing. Well, that was interesting. I've gotten a ring. Actually, this looks like one of those rings. We've had this. Fire resistance rings, yes. I'm curious what this Ayun stone does. This smooth, silvery gray stone floats in the air around its user's head, untethered by gravity or other earthly concerns. Protecting its user from poison and disease, it can be used once a day to cleanse mortal bodies of a natural contamination. Oh. Okay. I don't think we really need something like that. Arrows for me. Club. Well, somebody can use this ring. Flail. Let's identify the flail. The Hydra. The three heads of this flail look like dragon heads, giving the weapon its fearsome name. As the wielder swings the weapon, its head seems to blur and divide until a mass of Hydra heads whips from the end of the chain. When the wielder ceases attacking, the weapon reverts to its original appearance. Huh. <laughs> really interesting. Nobody in the group could really... I don't know. Glint? Are you practice with... Um, He is, with Morning Star. Okay. Well, maybe we can give that to you. This Morning Star looks really huge on you, Glint. <laughs> Very small man. Okay, let's go. I think we've done everything we can out here. We convinced the other... Um, people from Russia and the couple to leave the Crusaders. So let's go back to the coalition camp. Water Havy and Guard. Oren, you're here. Good. Torsen Delancey told me to send you to him if you returned. Um, I'm going to speak with him and the other camp commanders right, away, right now. You'll not find them in camp, ma'am. They're at Dead Man's Pass. Kalar has called for a parlay, and the commander is left to meet with her. You should go to the pass as soon as you're able to, and join the, with the discussion. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of items here. Let's, um... Identify the last of them, sell them, and then we'll go north to meet with this parlay. Okay, let's return north. To Dead Man's Pass. There she is again, Killer Urgent. And is that not Hefner behind her? If I understand her? you correctly, then, you are willing to surrender your troops and abandon Dragonspear Castle. All we have to do is give you the ball spawn. You better not be considering this offer, Delancey. We all know you're a coward. Don't be a traitor, too. Hmm. You understand my position, then. I need the child of Baal, but only for a short time. I shall return them safe, unharmed, within the week, and disperse my troops from Dragonspear Castle. I only intended to clarify the offer, Stonehand. No need for accusations. Ah, there you are. We've only just started negotiations. 
Then by all means, continue. She wants you. She says she'll disband her army and surrender if you go with her. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? So I've heard, yes. Listen to me. The lost souls of the Dragon Spear dead need a hero. That hero is you. Join me, and together we shall liberate the souls trapped in the Nine Hells. <laughs> You're up to something, Kayla. If it were that simple, you would have just asked for my help instead of drumming up an army and sending assassins after me. You know nothing of me, godling. You have no idea of the compromises I've made, the people I lost to stand here today. If you did, you would not be so quick to condemn me. Why didn't you just ask for my help? That's what I'm saying. A little defensive, are we? I told you, my lady. Boraskir Bridge was an omen. This... this person cannot be trusted. You cannot rely on them to do the right thing. Please. There's no need for such inflammatory language. We're all working toward the same end here. Unpalatable compromises must sometimes be made for the greater good. I... I agree with Delancey. You what? Oh, don't waggle your finger at me, Nederlock. You've got troops to spare. My militia's 50 souls strong, and I know them all by name. I know their families. Daggerford answered the call, but do any of you care about us? The hills you do. Use your brains, both of you. We can't agree to this. The reports from Baldur's Gate said someone paid for the hero's blood on a sword. Now Kalar wants the hero under her control. I don't like it. The blood of the Divine runs through our friend's veins. Her body itself is a source of power. Someone in Baldur's Gate paid for the Ballspawn's blood? Why? Heffernan, what can this mean? Calm yourself, my lady. It is likely a coincidence. Unrelated to our plans. Appeal to the child of Ball. Make her understand the importance of cooperation. Was the Cabal of Necromancers I had encountered in ancient ruins underneath Dragonspear also a coincidence? Why do you choose to blame Lady's Hand for every misfortune that has befallen you, Ballspawn? The Crusade does not dabble in the dark arts of necromancy, nor does it seek needless bloodshed. All my Lady asks of you is to live up to your reputation of the hero of Baldur's Gate. If it'll save the troops. What Kalar plans for the hero may be worse than loss of life. I understand your position, Stonehand, but you must see that cooperation could end in a bigger disaster than a battle. It pains me to say it, but Nederlock is right. This time. Though I'd happily sacrifice the Ballspawn's life to end this war, we don't know what sending them off with Kalar means. Hmm. I think I still think surrender is the best option. I'd gladly give my life to save those around me when it comes down to it. I'm sure you would, but the decision is not yours. I'll not sacrifice one of our greatest assets in so casual a fashion. Time is now our enemy. If someone else seeks the ball spawn, I cannot wait any longer for you to see the light. What will not be given freely must be taken. As you command, my lady. When next you see my banner, it will be at the head of the army that marches on you. For righteousness. For justice. That doesn't sound so righteous to me. So be it. Everyone back to camp. Prepare for an attack. May Timora favor us. Waste of time. You guys weren't going to well, allow me to surrender I anyway. I sincerely hope you're worth what you just cost us. I offered to surrender. Guess it's war, whether we like it or not. Uh, I have a feeling no one does, except for maybe Heffernan. Let's get you back to the camp. You're not safe here. 
I don't understand. Kayla tries to have me killed in Baldur's Gate. Now she tries to win me over. It makes no sense. Are you sure she did want you killed? War rarely makes sense. And it's the common folk who pay the price more often than not. To win a war, sacrifices must be made. <sighs> I stand ready to do whatever it takes to end the threat of Kalar. I am gratified to hear it. You can expect me to hold you to that promise before this is done. As I said, a battle will be coming after our sabotage. They couldn't do anything less. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journey. The crusade attacks. The northern edge of the camps aflame. Oh, they were ready for this then. Where do you need me? Head south to the fire pit. The commanders gather there. Andrus can instruct you further. I know we've had our disagreements, but luck to you. And to you, Corporal Duncan. Find Andrus fast as you can. And take care. Corwin, you all right? What do you need? Uh, for the moment, nothing. Nira, what are you doing up here? Hey! Exciting times, huh? Uh, yeah, but on the bright side, we'll probably be murdered, brutally murdered soon. You always look on the bright side, don't you? When there's one to be found, take care, Nira. Thanks. You too. Okay. Was this an assault by them? It looks like a hot goblin. These don't look like coalition's forces. At least most of them don't. Anyways, let's go. Hero, we need help. When Fossey refined those explosives into the barrel of Boosh, she was left with highly unstable toxic residue. We were thinking of using it as a weapon against the Crusade, but if the fire reaches the barrels, we'll all be killed. I see. It makes it a little complicated, doesn't it? You have to hold the Crusade off while I stabilize the barrels as best I can. I won't let that happen. It's going to be all right. Who's leading these troops? You are, ma'am. While the commanders oversee their troops, you can use us to defend the camps. Antris will call out the enemy troop movements. When she does, you can choose one of our units to assist you. To be strategic about it, we'll help as best we can. Good to hear. Give me a quick rundown of the forces I've got available to me. In addition to my archers, you've got a unit of wizard slayers, one of war mages, and, well, let's call them special operations. Special operations? It makes stabbing people in the back sound so glamorous. A group of dwarves entered the camp shortly before the assault began. They said they were answering your call for aid against the crusade? Looks like having the hero of Baldur's Gate with us is paying dividends. Andrus, what word on the enemy? They're at the camp's northern entrance. When they break through, I'll let you know. You can choose which unit to fight with against them. When the enemy's defeated, or if you're forced to retreat, talk to me again. Okay. The dwarves of Dunafane are here to assist the coalition. Pardon me, Oren. I'm Dosaya, priestess of Ill Matter. I'm here to see you through the coming battle. Through the grace of ill matter, I can offer you regular healing as with temple services, but also a specialized healing. I can restore your body, mind, and spirit as a good night's rest would. Hmm. I think we're okay. We just rested for coming down uh, here from Kay uh, the underground river entrance. Um, I understand. I'll speak to you if I need your services. The servants of ill matter are called to suffer. I trust you will do what... You must to ensure Kalar's servants suffer alongside us. Should you need my assistance, you will find me here. Farewell. All right, let's get some protection, Glint, please. By called. Oh, 
That definitely helps. The Crusades broken through the perimeter. There are trolls all over the western path. I'm going to stay here and ward these explosive barrels. If the Crusade reaches them, we're finished. Take a squad of soldiers and deal with those trolls. Hmm. Archers, set your arrows aflame and help me drive the trolls back. We're with you. You can count on me, Oren. You can count on all of us. When you've dealt with the immediate threat, or if you can't defeat the trolls, return to me. Good luck to you, hero. I really don't like trolls. There's some ogres there, too. Kill them all. If it lives, crush it. Archers, fire arrows on the trolls. Now. Fire bad. I don't fire good. In your case. And I need to get my fire arrows ready for this. Yes? Minsk, you have acid arrows? Yep. It's just as good. Well. Um, let's conjure up some kind of uh, thing between us and them. Yes, yes. Okay, focus fire. Yes. One is down. Ah, right on me. Minsk, you've got that troll slaying sword. Please use it. The fire's got them on their heels. Keep firing. Yeah, they're also on top of me. Uh oh. Flint. And Dinah here. I am shaped. Okay. Well, that went alright. Would have been a little better. Not so many of them on me. I am an archer after all. Oh yeah, we didn't identify the items yet, but that's okay. Are these not flame arrows? Flaming arrow, that's a bit different. Okay. <laughs> this for now so we won We're going to need healing what do you need yes oh omnipresent authority figure time to go Good enough for now. Oh, down here is encumbered. Nice work, Oren, but this fight's far from over. Head back to Andrus and make sure nobody gets their hands on those explosives. Well done, Oren. Take a moment to catch your breath, heal, and rearm yourself as best you're able to before the Crusaders renew their assault. I think we're ready.
there are some good berries to eat. Just about ready to go back into it. More come. Help! We need help! The Shining Ladies Wizards are in the camp north of here. Back the way I came. Wizards? Damn it all. I can't leave these barrels without putting the entire camp at risk. You've got to take a squad and keep them away from here. Hmm. The Crusade sends wizards. Fortunately, we have wizard slayers. Stysich, are you with me? There's Crusade Mage blood to be shed. What do you think, Weave Cleavers? Follow me. Smite Kalar's enemies. Let them be consumed by the power wielded by we who serve the Shining Lady. <laughs> I have no fear of the Shining Lady, and these Wizard Slayers have no fear of you. Stysich, cut these zealots down. You heard her. Stand the ground red with the Wizard's blood. Slayers, beware! The fiends send wizard slayers against us. Well, <laughs> that's the smart thing to do. And unfortunately, we are going to have to cast spells to see invisible, because that's what wizards like to do. One of the first things they like to do. Yep, there goes one or two. There we go, we can see invisible. They won't last long. Uh, I've been slowed. I can meet that with the oil of speed. Who's next? Which of you sickly spell drippers <laughs> wants to die next, says one of the, I guess, the wizard slayers. Oh yeah, we've gained some items here. And Dinahara has gained in skill. I am not a servant to carry so much. I have dropped it. Oh, we'll definitely keep that. Ring of protection we can sell. Okay, she's gained in skill, so. Okay, is there anything else for us to pick up? Some potions. Okay. I think that down here should have these potions. That was much easier than the trolls. There's no time to rest, Oren. You need to get back to Andrus. Make sure the crusade doesn't break through elsewhere. Get what healing you can, or prepare yourself, Orin. It won't be long before the Crusaders move on us again. Well, I was eating good berries. I guess I can keep on eating them. Oh, Minsk has been slow. Okay, one more good berry, and I am perfectly healthy.
Okay, so we'll wait for the next attack. And we'll win this war. This battle will be won by us this day. I have a strong feeling, especially with how things are going so far. We are destroying them in the field. Well, in our camp, I should say. <laughs>